year I received a call from an official in North Central Arkansas about a terrible situation on the Buffalo River. In the January 2009 ice storm that damaged a sewage pump along the tributary of the river, allowing raw sewage to possibly flow into one of our state's most scenic rivers for a period of time. The local government was without the resources to repair the pump, and I asked my friends at the Arkansas Rural Water Association and the Arkansas Natural Resources Commission to look at situations and offer some kind of solutions. The rural water guy said that they could install a temporary pump, and the Natural Resources Commission promised to chip in the $10,000 to pay for it. The pump was in place, and we found a temporary fix to our problem before canoeing season opened on Buffalo. We know there is more to do um, with this project, and you are faced with problems like this all the time, and they crop up every day in your world. I tell this story because it offers a glimpse into one of my favorite features of this job. I'm a problem solver, and I get results. We're a small state, and we live by the motto that I learned growing up at Helena. If you want to have a good neighbor, you must be a good neighbor. And that's the Arkansas way. I believe we're partners, and I know we care about our home. You care about our home. We all care about our home and the people of this state. I want you to know that the full influence of my personal office and the Senate Agriculture Committee, which I chair, is always at your disposal. I've only been on the Ag Committee chair uh, 11 months, and each day I'm finding new ways to make it a pipeline of jobs and opportunities for our great state. After all, our campus waited 184 years to get that chairmanship, and I'm going to make sure that it's worth the wait. The issues we've discussed here today are important, but from our perspective as public servants, nothing can be more important than seeing our Kansans at work. Creating jobs and our economic recovery has to be our number one priority. And you know whether it's a broken sewage pump on the Buffalo River or a broken economy. I approach all problems with the same all-hands-on-deck attitude. I fought for tax breaks for small businesses that hire unemployed workers. I voted to end tax breaks for companies that send their jobs overseas. I'm fighting to extend tax cuts for Arkansas companies like Whirlpool and Danfoss and Train and others that manufacture energy-efficient appliances. And I'm fighting for federal funding for infrastructure improvement projects that make our state more attractive for new companies and companies that are already here. Unfortunately, my opponent, Congressman Bozeman, is on the opposite side of all of these efforts. You know, partisan politics is way overrated, and unfortunately, um, is, is one of our biggest challenges in putting our country back on track. I'm an independent voice for uh, Arkansas, and I'll work with whoever it takes to get the economy back on track, no matter what the political consequences are. And that's what you sent me to Washington to do. Not to stick my finger in the air to test which way the political winds are blowing, but to help you solve problems. I'm here to facilitate your needs, and I will never stop trying. My priorities have always been my faith, my family, and my loyalty to the people of Arkansas. Thank you for allowing the congressman and myself to join you this morning. And we look forward to seeing you on the campaign trail in the months ahead. Thank you all.